Welcome back to School of Civil Engineering. We have already completed a Tecla structural design tutorial series. I mean, they have almost uh, 15 video. Uh, they have I have uh, I mean there I have tried to complete about concrete structural elements. And in this video, I am going to uh, start a, another new tutorial series. And here, uh, if I show you, so from here, this is uh, by using that model. Okay. So from that model, that is a model, and by using that model, I will, and this is our layout plan, I will just uh, create a model in Tecla Structural Design, and uh, this is actually, this is a real project. So from that, I mean, how will how I will design that in Tecla Structural Design and also uh, ETAPS. So I will show you that and we'll compare its result and its everything in ETAPS and Tecla Structural Design. Okay, and always I prefer about um, building design using ETAPS and also Tecla Structural Design. So if you want to learn about that uh, two types of software, you can watch that. That uh, link are given in description and also about basic component and basic uh, things about AutoCAD. That's also, I mean, uh, its tutorial are also available in our channel. So, if you are a civil engineer, then don't forget to subscribe to our channel. So, let's start. As uh, we'll work that model, and I will create a two-story building. So, first of all, I will open our Tecla Structural Designer software. I will go first as as possible uh, actually because I have already discussed about that and after the tutorial series I will start another section I mean uh, I will show you about steel structure uh, design by using Tecla Structural Designer software so first of all I will click here new just click here new and wait for some time So it's uh, our new here our new page have opened. After that, you have to come here setting. So uh, sorry, not here. Here we have to click here uh, model setting. So we'll click here and we'll select our unit by uh, using which unit we'll design our project. So just click here and they have many unit. They have many unit that are available here. Okay. So by using that model, I'm going to design that. So just select your model here and I will use United Estate. ACI code and then from here design code what will be the design code so from here uh, for a uh, general building uh, sorry a uh, general loading I will select ASCE 7 and design code ASC 7 and year there are three types of code I will use 2050 2005 sorry then for every wind load uh, snow loading seismic loading and Combinations I will use ASC705 version of is I mean American code. After that, come here unit. Uh, which types of unit you want to use? I will just uh, they have matrix unit and also US. I will use US unit. I mean it's in feet kilometer like that in that unit. So after that press okay so after that you have to go here materials okay so after materials just come here section and from here uh, current database version and here which types of unit you want to select us then uh, head code I mean the main code it will be United Estate and the materials uh, will select concrete or anything just concrete 
after that come here materials and from here uh, materials type select concrete and here uh, normal or lightweight normal and from here you have to just input yeah, I mean you have to input your materials that who is uh, what is your uh, concrete strength I mean 28 days compressive strength so I'll give it 28 okay so here uh, I have changed that and uh, how I have uh, work with that so I'll select that and also you can add from here and you can give, uh, give record value according to record mean but I'm not going to create any more cause uh, already I have uh, shown you that in our previous video so just uh, after doing that I will come here reinforcement okay so US country uh, here is the code and head code and from here from which country US then head type lose bar then deform bar and from here just select your bar so just select I will select grade 60 okay, 60 grade bar then it's okay now go here model select that then uh, press here update from database then okay okay so after that Uh, we'll close that or that's that work is complete now we'll draw our construction level okay uh, I mean uh, this is the main important part of a building design I mean uh, from that level how will um, I mean uh, how to how to be the our building level I mean floor to floor height and also how a square building we're going to create so from here go here model and click at construction level and from here there, there have three types actually uh, everything I have discussed in our previous uh, tutorial series I mean uh, modeling take less textual designer tutorial series so you can watch that from there so first of all TOF top of foundation okay so top of foundation I will uh, click here insert ab above then I will for uh, we can give a name this is the base and this is the ground level ZF then from here select I mean slab level from here you have to select a structural slab level assessment a structural slab, slab level and just give here your unit the level is feet or in so will give here suppose I will consider uh, this, this that will be the value from our foundation I mean uh, what will be the distance of our uh, foundation top to our first floor uh, I'll consider that uh, that will be uh, five feet. Okay, that will be five feet. Or uh, okay, that will be five feet. And after that, sorry, it's not five inches, five feet. Okay, so after that, again click here, insert above, then will change that value uh, this is our first floor this is our first floor okay so it will be 11 feet give it 11 feet and uh, again insert above that will be our third floor okay so it's done ground floor first floor and also the second floor that will be our 20, uh, second floor so I think it's clear so after that we'll click here and if you want to know details about that just please watch my previous video already given in description okay so we have draw a level so here uh, our this is the base ground floor this is the first floor and this is the this, uh, second floor okay ground floor first floor second floor so after that we have to draw grid okay we have to draw grid so after that um, I'll go here uh, first of all up model and from here just which types of grid we will draw you can uh, select any grid from here ours uh, any or 
import dxf also you can import that AutoCAD file but I will show that manual just click here so after that this is a uh, grid and from here uh, we'll select every level because uh, at every level we'll draw our grid then go next it will be zero zero then uh, what is the line if uh, they have x direction uh, line only y direction line only or all direction we'll draw all direction so go next after that regular uh, or ir irregular for x direction I will select irregular okay it will be irregular and here we will give our data so from AutoCAD uh, if I open AutoCAD for x direction this is on first grid this is our second third and second grid third fourth fifth and sixth grid okay so our first grid was from a uh, will always consider from middle point okay or column middle point of column so I mean it's uh, always an uh, engineer always should consider the I mean uh, load point as a middle point of the column because uh, it will make our building very stable and also earthquake resistance so uh, or from that point to that point distance is 1 feet 6.5 inch 1 feet 6.5 inch so I will go here first of all 1 feet and 6.5 inch so I will just give her 6.5 inch as 6.5 inch means 13 divided by 2 okay it's 6.5 then again give her a comma after that we'll again go here uh, if we see that 13 feet or uh, 13 uh, feet 2.5 inch then 16 feet 3 inch then 13 feet 2.5 inch so I'll give here 13 uh, feet sign in give feet sign and if I zoom that 13 feet sign then uh, 13 2.5 inch 2.5 inch means 5 divided by 2 okay so you have to give that uh, value like that way because uh, it has I mean uh, sorry a class structural designer do not consider any uh, point value so after that again comma then 16 feet 6 inch I mean maybe sorry a uh, 16 feet 3 inch so here Sixteen feet three inch, again comma. So again, a uh, thirteen feet five divided by two. I'm giving a uh, thirteen feet then five bit divided by two means thirteen feet two point five inch. Okay, so five divided by two means two point five. That's why. So uh, our first value, if we give the feet sign, then our second value it will consider as inch. After that again uh, give it 1 feet 13 divided by 2 okay so if I again check sorry if I again check so 1 feet 6.5 inch then 13 feet here 13 feet 2.5 inch then 16 feet 3 inch then 13 feet 2.5 inch it's done then again same as that first value okay so now we'll give the data for our y-axis okay so similarly I'll go here then we'll uh, give a next so here again uh, for y direction I will consider will consider that it is irregular also so at same one feet Uh, sorry, it will not be on fit because if we see here Here if we see that uh, for 
that point we can uh, easily draw that slab from here so that's why no need to draw a grid line here so directly i will draw the grid line here in that direction 5 feet 8.5 inch 5 feet 8.5 inch then 13.5 then 13 uh, i'm sorry 13 feet 5 inch then 13 feet 2.5 inch so it's 5 feet 8.5 I mean 17 divided by 2 right uh, 70 divided by 2 inch means 8.5 so it will be first or first one will be 5 feet sign then uh, 17 divided by 2 okay then comma after that 13 feet maybe it's 13 feet 5 inch and th th 13 feet 2.5 is then 13 feet 5 comma 13 feet 2.5 sorry 5 divided by 2 okay then again comma and uh, so again we will give here our the last grid I mean 1 feet 1 feet uh, again 1 feet and 6.5 inch I mean 1 feet 13 divided by 2 inch so 1 feet and 13 divided by 2 so here is our uh, grid line just you are seeing just after that we will click here next and we will click here finish so this is your grid line you are seeing that this is your grid line um, for every story okay so there are four story and for every story this is our grid line so uh, today I will finish that video and you know next video I will show that how we'll draw our I mean beam column slab in that grid line according to our plan so if you hear that means that is helpful for you and if you think that that is helpful for you then don't forget to subscribe to our channel and also like our video share our video and leave a comment uh, your own like and on comment inspire us for the next work so thank you thank you very much and if you have any complaint or if you have any query to know about anything you can mail me or you can comment me below so Thank you. Thank you very much. Stay connected till next video.